Hi, this is Ram from RamKernel.com. In this lesson, we are going to learn how to use multiple row subqueries. Let's start with a quick review of what we have learned in the previous lesson. Who are the customers with the same monthly discount as customer number 10? In order to solve this problem, we need to answer two questions. What is the monthly discount of customer number 10? And which customers have the same monthly discount? So let's see. Select monthly discount from customers where customer ID equals 10. We are getting 7. Now we can say select, let's say customer ID, last name, monthly discount. Let's also add the city column from customers. Well, monthly discount equals to the results of this query. Let's execute. And as you can see, we are getting all customers with the same monthly discount as customer number 10. Now, suppose we want to display which customers have the same monthly discount as the customers living in New York. So let's copy this query. And this time, instead of saying where customer ID equals 10, we need to say where city equals to New York. Let's highlight and execute. And this time we are getting an error. Why? This time, the inner query returns more than one row. Let's execute it. And also, let's place the results here for future reference. We can say where something equals to this, or this, or this, using the equal operator. We can say, however, in. So let's copy this query again. And this time, instead of saying where monthly discount equals to the result of this subquery, we can say where monthly discount in. Let's execute again. And this time we are getting the expected results. All rows where monthly discount equals to at least one of the values within the subquery. Queries that return more than one row are usually called multiple row subqueries. In order to handle multiple row subqueries, we need to use different operators. Instead of using equals, greater than, less than, not equal, we need to use in, any, and all. In, as you saw, allows us to compare against multiple values. Now, let's see how we can use the all operator. When we are working with the all operator, we can say greater than all and less than all. Greater than all allows us to retrieve all rows greater than the maximum value in the subquery. So let's take our previous query. Let's copy it. And now instead of saying in, we will say greater than all. Let's execute. And as you can see, we are getting all customers with monthly discount greater than the maximum value in the subquery. In the same way, less than all retrieves all rows that are lower than the minimum value in the subquery. So if we will change the operator from greater than all to less than all, let's execute again. This time we are getting all rows with monthly discount less than this value. Two important guidelines. Equals to all is most of the times irrelevant. Equals to all means that we are looking for something that equals to this value and also equals to this value and also equals to this value and so on. If, for example, 
we will say, let's take this query, we will say here equals to all, let's execute, we will get nothing because no value equals to all of these values together. One more thing. Many times people ask me what's wrong with just saying where something is greater than select max instead of saying greater than all or where something is less than select min instead of saying less than all. Let me explain. If we will take this example where we said greater than all, let's copy it. This is the results of saying greater than all. And this time, instead of saying greater than all, let's say greater than select max monthly discount. Let's execute. And not surprisingly, we are getting the exact same results. So why should we use the all operator rather than just using the max or mean operators? Well, most of the times it makes absolute sense to use aggregate function instead of using the all operator. But sometimes you will get much more complicated queries you need to compare against. And then instead of changing the inner query to return minimum or maximum, we can treat it as some kind of a black box and compare its values using the all operator. So this is the main difference between using aggregate functions and the all operator. The any operator. When we are using the any operator, we can say equals to any, greater than any, and less than any. Let's start with equals to any. So let's copy one of our previous queries. And this time, let's say instead of equals all, let's say equals to any. And let's execute. Equals to any is the same as using n. We are getting all customers with monthly discount equals to one of the monthly discounts in the subquery. Greater than any. So let's take the previous query and this time instead of saying equals to any, let's say greater to any and let's execute. Greater than any means greater than at least one of the values or in other words, greater than the minimum. So here we are getting all of the customers with monthly discount greater than at least the minimum value in the subquery. So this is greater than any. And when we are saying less than any, let's change the greater than to less than, then execute. When we are using the less than any, we are looking for values that at least less than one of the values in the subquery, or in other words, less than the maximum. So here we can get all of the customers with monthly discount less than the maximum value in the subquery. So this is how we can use the less than any operator. Okay, so in this lesson, we learned how to use multiple row subqueries. Please feel free to ask any question you may have in the comments section below. And if you are looking for a way to practice what we have just learned, in ramkenem.com you will find hundreds of exercises on many different levels. More details can be found in the video description. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.